This is going to be so much fun. I promise you now, this is going to be a riff machine. It's about time I played a new fuzz. Ah, oh, look at that! It's the new Abela Fuzz from Beatronics. And I don't know how to pronounce that word, but I do know how to open a box and play a fuzz pedal. So let's do that. When Beatronics sent this out for review, they asked me to unbox it on camera so they can get my reaction. So they must be very confident that it's a good looking pedal. But let's see what else is in the box first. Uh, an instruction book for the Abela Tropical Fuzz. Whew. Um, a sticker of the logo, a very much more exciting sticker with a B on it that looks a little bit like me, if I were a B. And a pick, which I am collecting. But now, let's find out what this apparently very good looking pedal looks like. Put it there so you can see it. This paper reminds me of buying shoes when I was a kid. Anyway, pedal time. Oh! Oh, Beatronics, how dare you! Look at that! That! That is a pedal. Beatronics do this faceplate thing that just looks absolutely phenomenal. So I put it, you can't see much contrast. I've got a, I've got a pedal board here. Uh, it's the Metro 20 from Pedal Train. Stick that there. Now you can see it against that red background. Wow. Um, okay, so we have two big old fuzzy knobs that look like they belong either on a radio or on a fuzz. And we've got two tiny little fuzzy knobs, a dual light, a soft switch, which probably does more than one thing, and then a switch, a three-way switch at the top, top-mounted jacks and power. Right, I have to now just plug it in without reading this and see what it sounds like. Then I'll go through all the knobs and features and tell you uh, at the end of the video, I guess, whether I think you should buy it. And if you're enjoying yourself already, why not click the subscribe button? Okay, so... First time using it, here's the clean tone with the Blackstar EL34, the St. James. And this is the PJD Apprentice with a P90 at the bridge. And now for the Beatronics Tropical Fuzz. Oh, look at those lights! Okay, so it's one of those fuzzes. Right, let's let's fiddle with this switch. Ah, th that's less Velcro-y. Damn it, this is fun already. Uh, it's my first fuzz of the year, um, and I have to now just quickly read the instructions and come back to you so I can actually find out what the pedal does. Back in a moment. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun. I promise you now, this is going to be a riff machine. Let's, um, let's play it some more, I'll give you my top five tones, and then I'll show you how I got them. <laughs> Right, so for this one, I've just done the most simple way of setting up a pedal, and that is every knob to the top except the volume because it was a little bit loud in the studio. Ooh. So we've got a bass EQ, a high EQ, a buzz, which is the fuzz amount, and then the loud, which is the volume. And then in the middle, we've got this three-way switch, and I've got it set to honey, which is the sweet high gain drive sound. We've also got nectar, which is the rounded high gain sound. And then we've got pollen, which is the gated sort of spitty fuzzy one. But that sagged battery dying Velcro tone. But if you double tap this, the lights turn green and yellow and blue. It's the tropical mode, which is a high pass filter. And that sounds like this. So by cutting that bass, it's getting a little bit more spitty, a bit more aggressive. And then another double tap will take us back to the normal mode. Yep. 
Yeah, that's going to cut through nicely. Okay, um, let's max the fuzz. Um, yeah, let's max the fuzz. <laughs> um, normal mode, then maximum fuzz, and then I'll just go through the three switches and see how nasty and dirty... Oh, it's noisy! <laughs> So that is really compressed. Everything's just there together. It's noisy, but let's see what happens if we roll the volume off. Does it clean up? With this level of fuzz, it isn't a very usable tone, playing that sort of stuff. I think if you're playing lead lines, that might be nice. But if you're doing anything with chords, that's just gonna get compressed and bleh, Which is also kind of cool, but cleaning it up... Just gives us that nice broken amp sound. Where is it? It's about, I had it about two or three. Let's try that in tropical mode quickly. I dig it. Right, um, let's play around with the EQ and do another tone, and then I'll get into those little switches, because there's obviously a huge combination of sounds that you can have by having the tropical mode, and then the different type of nectar, honey, pollen thing, and then how much fuzz you have. But for the rest of this, I'm gonna keep the fuzz at around halfway, I think. So let's go back to normal mode and then bring the bass down that way and see if that's different to the tropical mode. <laughs> Interesting. Cutting the bass in the normal mode doesn't make it sound like the tropical mode. So the tropical mode is doing something else apart from just putting in a high pass filter, or at least I think it is. Uh, and then adding bass to the tropical mode uh, like that doesn't really do much past there because it's cutting it with the tropical mode. I wonder if um, if I can damage some hearing by messing with that trebly top end. Beware. Put that back to normal, and then I'll cut it first, but I will boost it. So, you know, fingers in the ears time. Actually, I'm gonna change to my Strat because I want a sort of stratty neck pickup for this. We haven't, obviously this doesn't have a neck pickup. So I want something with a bit more bass to see if that makes a difference. Right, I thought it was gonna blow my face off with that treble all the way up, but it doesn't on that neck pickup. I wonder what it does on the bridge. All right, that pleases me. It is usable throughout the entire spectrum of that treble cut and boost. Um, is it boosting? Hang on. Yeah, but it's boosting ever so subtly. I wonder what happens with opposite. No, I don't like that, but there's there's uses for that, of course. Um, right, I have to dive in to that switch, Honey Nectar Pollen, because I started off really loving that spitty, spitty gated fuzz, but I think this honey is extremely usable. It's kind of like, um, an expanded tone bendery sort of 60s fuzz, but with much more oomph and, um, I don't know, just it's more exciting. And 
I love a two knob fuzz, don't get me wrong, but this, this has that little bit extra and it's got nice lights on it. Right, let's mess around with this switch. I've noticed I'm staying quite bluesy with the riffs today, but th that's, that's where it's at. I don't know why. Let's switch it to Nectar, which is supposed to be more rounded. What I'm hearing there is more low mid, sort of upper bass. Back to Honey. Yeah, so it's, it's rounded, as we guitar players call it. Let's go to Pollen. Okay. That's gonna sound great on baritone. Hold on a tick. Okay, um, that pollen mode was kind of made for baritone. I think it needs a bit more fuzz. I've, I've kind of abandoned the whole top five tones thing. I, I don't know how many I've done in all honesty because I'm just having fun and exploring this pedal. But I think I'm achieving the goal of showing you what the pedal sounds like, which is what I normally use the top five tones for. It's just phenomenal. I mean, on the one side, You've got this, as I've said, 60s kind of stratty fuzz that does a Hendrix thing quite well, or very well. Then you've got this nasty, spitty, gaty thing that just fits that absolutely perfectly. Um, I haven't done humbuckers yet, so I'm hoping with humbuckers, we're gonna get something big and sort of 90s disgusting sludginess. Let's try that. <laughs> Yeah, um, it is thick, it's full. I mean, this is, I hate to say it, a very versatile fuzz. And I've barely gone into the tropical mode, so I don't know how long this video is, but I'm having fun. If you're having fun, stick around. <laughs> Okay, I found something I'm not exactly in love with because I am in love with the pedal, but something that just tips it off being 10 out of 10 is there's a, is a little, the bias is a little bit too off, I think, on the pollen mode. So I'd love a little bias control, that one, um, so I could just make it less or more spitty because I'm feeling that's too spitty for me. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to have just a control. I wonder if there's one inside. Gosh, why do I do this? I'm gonna open up the pedal, take a look inside because it's B-Tronics. It's guaranteed to have some funky circuit board in there and maybe there's an internal trim pot for a bias control. Ah, oh, I'll get me screwdriver. So, what do we got going on here? We've got side screws. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Um, Yes, it has the funny, funny, cool Beatronics, funny, that's not fair, the beautifully designed Beatronics circuit board, but I don't see a, any knob on there, and that means I've got to take all that off, which I don't want to do. I don't want to destroy the pedal. Okay, I'm going to leave it as I wish it had a little bias control on the outside so I could, you know, just adjust that spittiness. That would make this absolutely perfect. As I've abandoned the whole top five tone things and don't know how many samples I've done, it gives me an excuse to play this, the Nomad Junior from Loverlet Guitars. It's really bright, it's really cute, and I really want to see what it sounds like through the pedal and the Laney Cub. So we'll overdrive, uh, yeah, that's a slightly overdriven amp. <laughs>
out there. Um, it does brilliantly at sending an overdriven amp even further. So using that fuzz as, as not a clean boost, but as a fuzz boost, giving me um, that, that sort of... Through the black star, that sounds like this. Through the laney. Sounds more organic, right? So um, maybe I should have done the whole video with the laney. Never mind, you know, there's always another day or another YouTube video, in fact. Actually, there's something I haven't shown you, and that is that it does momentary switching. Turn that on. I'm gonna go to uh, Honey for this. I've just noticed I've got the bass all the way up, sorry. <laughs> I thought that sounded full and nice and thick. If it sounds good, leave it, Andy. Okay. Right, here is my final review. It's one of the most versatile fuzzes I've ever played. I sometimes wonder if I prefer more vintage fuzz or more modern fuzz. And the truth is I love the whole spectrum. However, this does kind of both of those well, really well, without going too far in either direction. So it's it, it will please a lot of people and it doesn't go massively nasty like some of the Beatronic stuff like the Swarm, for example. And it also doesn't go too vintage like a standard tone bender or something. It does this wonderful mix of both of those worlds. Uh, the tropical mode is very cool. I think the tropical mode benefits from more fuzz. So if you're sort of here on the fuzz and you go into tropical mode, I kind of prefer it in that last sort of quarter, I guess. Um, and as for the, the switch with the honey, nectar and the pollen, I really thought I was gonna stay on the pollen for most of this video. And it turns out that all three modes are as lovely as each other. Is that a sentence? Yeah. The design is beautiful. The build quality is second to none. And if you buy this pedal, know that you are buying a quality product from a relatively small builder in the big old world of pedals. However, it is gonna set you back around 340-ish euros, around $350, around that area. It's not one of those cheap fuzzes that you can just get nasty Velcro tones out or nasty or nice Velcro tones out of. It is a chunk of change. And on the one hand, I wish it were cheaper. On the other hand, it could be the one fuzz that you take to a show. So if you want one fuzz that will cover most things from stratty blues to 90s psychedelic fuzz with a wall of sound, this tropical fuzz, Abela, I've avoided saying Abela because I think I'm saying it wrong. This tropical fuzz, the Abela from Beatronics will probably do all that you need. And I never thought I'd say that from any fuzz pedal because you know, more fuzz is more good. But if you have one fuzz pedal, make it this Abela tropical fuzz. And sorry to Beatronics for probably mispronouncing that. But don't let me do all the talking. Have your say in the comments section and let me know what you think of this pedal. And if you're new, there's the subscribe button. S click it gently, be gentle, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.